All right, so we're kind of in the calm before the storm when it comes to uh, Microsoft Ignite and a lot of exciting announcements coming next week. So I thought this week, why don't we take a look at something that is just purely fun in Microsoft Teams, and that is virtual cameras. I saw something today that was really exciting that actually kind of makes the idea of virtual cameras like Snap Camera um, a somewhat viable option for like actual professional meetings. So I wanted to show that off and go through the process of just installing it and trying out this awesome new lens that this guy created. So I'll bring this over here from Twitter. This guy, Cameron Hunter, he's a developer, I believe, at Netflix. He's, he's an engineer at Netflix, worked at Twitter and Amazon. Um, I saw a retweet from him that was, uh, he created a snap camera filter so Snap Camera is by Snapchat. You install it on your computer, PC or Mac, and it can detect your hands and your facial stuff that's going on uh, in your webcam, and it can do things. A lot of people like wear a hat or they do something goofy. Well, this guy, he designed a lens that whenever he waves, it does hello, thumbs up, it does yes, a fist, it does no, um, so he has like several reactions basically. And I thought like, this is awesome because rather than unmuting yourself and muting yourself again, you can, um, do some cool reactions just on your webcam. And I'll kind of encourage you to use your webcam more in Teams meetings. So, um, scrolling through here, he talked a little bit about how he created it. He shows how to do it in Google Meet, but I wanted to show you how to add this camera in Microsoft Teams and get use of this cool technology. So a couple, like three or four tweets down, he posted the link to it right here. So I'll put this link in the comment, in, in the description of this here, but this is basically what you're gonna search for once you get a uh, snap camera installed. So let's go over here to my Windows computer because this doesn't work on a Mac yet. I'll explain that in a, in a moment, but I've got Microsoft Teams and I could just do my regular webcams so I've got a camera here, one built into my laptop. I've also got an external webcam. Um, but in order to use these cool filters, I'm gonna install another application called Snap Camera. And that's at snapcamera.snapchat.com. Once I get there, I can go ahead and download. You can see in the demo here, it adds like dog ears, you know, hats, things like that. People have been doing this ever since the work from home, especially uh, in like March, April timeframe but we're gonna download it and use it for like an actual business purpose. So I'm gonna to agree to the terms. No, I'm not a robot. Um, let's find some palm trees here. I think that's all the palm trees. There we go. And I'm gonna download for PC because I'm on Windows right here. So we're gonna download that application and run through a quick little install here. Okay, so we're gonna open up this installer here run through next, next, finish type of a deal. I don't really care about a shortcut and install. Okay, so I have Snap Camera installed. I'm gonna launch it when I hit finish. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna hit next, hit finish. And then I'm gonna select my webcam. It's using the webcam from the, uh, the laptop that's closed right now. So I'm gonna click the gear in the top corner, I'm gonna change it to this Logitech webcam that I have sitting right here. So there I am, and you can see that you can do filters, like there's a leaf over my face, something like that. There's, this one has butterfly wings, that's fun. Um, so I'm gonna do uh, this, this cool, um, you know, reactions webcam. So I'm gonna take this guy right here, copy it. So get that from the description below, and then under here where it says search lenses, I'm gonna paste that in and that comes up with this VC lens by Cameron Hunter. So I'm gonna go ahead and favorite that so it's always accessible for me. When I click on it, it says show your hand. So if I wave, it says hello. If I do a thumbs up, it says yes, no, things like that. So that's really cool. Now to get this into Microsoft Teams, let's go into Teams and hit meet now. So I hit meet now and under the setup right here, custom setup, you would want to make sure that you select the right camera. So it might be this camera by default and you'll see if I wave, it's not doing the, um, the reactions. 
So I want to make sure that I choose snap camera for my list of cameras. You should probably only have, you know, two or three of these cameras. We're going to go ahead and join that. And when I get joined, you'll now see that if I do a wave, it says hello. If I do thumbs up, it says yes. If I do peace out, then it says goodbye. Um, but you see that it's backwards and that's because um, Microsoft Teams, what it does is it will do a mirror image so that if I point at my shelf back here like this, it will, um, it, it will be on the correct side behind me. So they, they mirror image this. So to show how this actually looks to the person on the other end, I'm gonna go ahead and call my other account here. Mute my microphone. Go ahead and hit accept on this uh, screen here. Get rid of all of that. And then now you see this is me on the, on the big camera for my Mac, but I'll bring over, this is what the audience sees or you know the person on the other end. So if they do a wave, they see hello and it's spelled the right way. If they do a peace sign, they'll say goodbye. Thumbs up is yes. A fist is no. Do this, a fist is no. That is awesome. And then finally, if you, uh, if you get up and just walk away, it will detect you leaving the frame and say, I'll be right back. So that's kind of a, a fun little way that, you know, in these big, large gallery modes, things like that, you could, uh, you know, show that like, yes, you agree with something, or you can say hi to people without unmuting your microphone and then finally say goodbye. And that bubble actually will stay on for a little bit longer. So this works with um, PC for right now, because you may have noticed that on the Mac side, these virtual cameras have actually been um, removed from Microsoft Teams. So I wanted to point that out that this doesn't work today on a Mac. There was a support article back in July that says that um, for some security reasons, Microsoft has removed the, uh, the ability to do virtual cameras. So things like Snap Camera, things like NDI, um, so you can get OBS into it. And it's really unfortunate, but it's for security reasons as part of the Apple operating system. But down here it says that they are working to re-enable this in a secure way. So no dates for when that may be coming but hopefully it will be coming soon. I'll be sure to put out a video whenever it does come back out. In the meantime, you can use these virtual cameras if you run Teams in a uh, browser on your Mac. So if you use Edge or Chrome, I personally use Edge and it works great on a Mac operating system. Um, if you choose to use one of those in the browser, you can use this cool snap camera. So that's it for today. I just thought that I'd uh, show something fun and uh, get virtual cameras in your Microsoft Teams client so you can have a little bit more fun during your meetings. I hope you have a great week and uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming out at Ignite so I'm excited to put out a couple videos coming up about um, some of the exciting things that are gonna drop next week. Until then, I'll see you later, have a good one.